Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about, what do you mean by global error handler in MuleSoft? So global error handler, let us see one POC. So here you can see that this global handler is appearing at the project level. Okay, so this is generic error handling. So it doesn't matter in my whole project anywhere any error occur which is not getting handled by any of the handler in my project then global handler will take care of that. Okay, so it is also called as default error handler. So whenever there is no error handling happen in my project then global handler will take care of that. For example, in this project, I do have reading a file, I do have a logger which is displaying the content. That's why it is called as related code. So I can show you that it is printing the payload which is printing the file content. So it is related code to file reading and there is an unrelated code. Okay, so now what will happen whenever you do have this, uh, this, Error will appear in this project. Don't, firstly, it will find out try block, it is not there. It will find out flow level handler, which is also not there. So finally, it will come to global handler, which will give some uh, general error handling uh, activity will be there. Okay, so for example, it is printing the message, there is some error in your project because it's a generic error handling. You cannot say whether it is a database error, file error, this error, that error. No, it's very generic. So for that generic thing, this global handler will be executed. Let me show you that. Let me run this project and I'll uh, send a request from my postman to this and there will be the read file. So let me see what is the file name which is mentioned in the read. It is myemp123.csv. So let me see whether that file is exist or not. So let me go to C colon data input. Let me go to my, okay. Let me go to C colon data input. And there is no such file exists. My emp.csv whatever is mentioned here my emp 123csv is not there so there will be the error over here and that error firstly it will find try block then flow level handler then it will come to global level and there will be normal closure to your project it will not be really the abnormal termination global handler handles the error and it will normally close your project it will not abnormally terminate that okay so let me wait till my project gets deployed and we will experience the global error handler. Now one configuration you always remember about global error handler is you need to always create one global element which is called as configuration. And you can see that I designated this global handler over in this uh, uh, global configuration. I designated this global error handler as my default error. So that configuration is must Otherwise, your global error handler will not be recognized. So it got deployed now. Let me start my postman. My port number is 9001. Let me remove these parameters and let me send this and let us see what happened. Console. See. My. So it is coming to file read and you can see that that file read happen and uh, I don't know why it has not executed to this one. Let me see what, no, that, that just sending it still. And yes, there is some error in your project. This is what is the message from global handler. And I'm sure that message, yeah, that was in uh, processing. If you see, let me scroll it to the right, left, and let me show you that. I hope my video, is not appearing in front of that. So you can see this message. That means it is not allowing your project to abnormally terminate. End user is not getting any uh, system error. It is getting 
proper user friendly error that there is some error in your project and that is normally closing the project it's not abnormal termination so that is how global handler works so guys this is the short video i am going to record the long format video which is nothing but step by step it will show you that how to create the global handler and how to configure it and how to configure this whole project how to create this poc that video i am recording uh, and that will be uploaded in my mule 4 development channel which is a separate channel where i upload practical videos detailed videos so below this video i am going to send you i am going to uh, give you the link of that video as well so go and check that if you are interested in that okay so thank you stay tuned till my next video get in touch with me if you need any help thank you and see you then friends bye bye